Hello and welcome to SAP Business Network for Logistics Carrier Integration Tutorial Series. In this series, we will focus on API-based carrier integration. This tutorial is focused on giving an overview of the integration architecture and understanding how the communication is orchestrated between the various components that are involved. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how SAP Business Network for Logistics supports API-based carrier integration. The architecture involves three major components. Starting from the left, we have the core system used by the shipper. Typically, it is SAP S4 HANA Transportation Management System. This system acts as a system of record for the shipper. And this is the component where the shipper does freight planning, prepares request for quotation, and does order management and other logistics processes. In the center, we have SAP Business Network for Logistics which is a cloud-based network component hosting multiple business partners to enable collaborative logistics processes. The key business partners in focus are shippers and carriers or logistics service providers. Each entity gets their own tenant and are connected to, on the network to collaborate with each other. The third and the rightmost component is the carrier's own system where they manage their logistic operations and also respond to requests coming from shippers, such as responding to quotations, confirming or rejecting orders, reporting milestones, and also creating invoices. As you can see, there are two integration patterns between these components. One is uh, an outbound from shipper system and an inbound into carrier system. And the other one is an outbound from a carrier system and inbound into the shipper system through business network for logistics. So let's first look at the first pattern. The first pattern is triggered on specific business events in uh, the shipper's TM system, which will then initiate a request to be sent to the shipper's uh, PNL tenant via an established integration pattern based on SOAP APIs. As a prerequisite, the shipper and the carrier tenants are connected before initiating any transactions. This enables the data to be delegated to the carrier tenant based on information in the payload and also the business events. Now the way SAP Business Network for Logistics forwards the request to a carrier system via B2B integration is by means of a webhook, which is expected to be hosted by the carrier. A webhook is a HTTP-based callback function, which enables event-based communication between two integrating applications. Carriers will need to configure this webhook in the carrier BNL tenant as a prerequisite. The webhook will need to support specific resource path and a format of data exchange is a JSON object. The specification for this can be explored in a Business Accelerator Hub and we call these webhooks as consumer APIs. So of course, uh, carriers will want to protect uh, these webhook APIs by introducing a security layer. So we support basic API key and OAuth root auto as security protocols or options that can be configured along with the webhook uh, in the application in the carrier tenant. So once that is done, shippers will then maintain a connection based on the various scenarios, which then completes the integration configuration setup. So we will look into this config in detail in the future tutorials. The second pattern is where the carrier needs to respond to a shipper. In order to enable this communication, SAP BNL exposes REST-based APIs, which are authenticated by uh, OAuth to uh, client credentials based mechanism. Carriers will need to raise a request with SAP to receive uh, their client credential details uh, per tenant. The API specification per scenario is also defined in uh, SAP Business Accelerator Hub and we call these uh, APIs as uh, provider APIs. So once the carrier triggers a call uh, via this API, the call will be delegated to the shipper's TM system through BNL. The data is persisted in BNL tenants as well. And, and also replicated to uh, shipper's core system, which is transportation management system. The 
provided API call is considered successful only when the data or the call successfully reaches uh, the shipper's TM system. In the next video, we will go through each step and the configurations that are required for carrier integration to work. Thank you.